What is going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video, my name as always is Face Jasper, you can call me whatever you want actually, Jasper, Face Jasper, Jasper, I don't care. First of all, thank you so much for stopping by the channel, today we're gonna go over deadlifts and a back workout that I did yesterday, but I specifically want to go over the form of deadlifts, um, just because it's a very hard exercise and I think a lot of you can benefit from doing deadlifts, but it's more important to do it right. Um, right away. So first things first I want to let you guys know that me and Sensei are running a sale with G Fuel right now You guys always know the tower right there 30% um, off 30% off your order uh, on G Fuel and shakers and stuff uh, if you use the code GTG Gamer to gainer G T G you can get 30% off. It works till Thursday the 26 that is I think or 27th so uh, make sure if you ever want to try G Fuel, uh, it's like a focus, uh, it's like a caffeine thing with like only 10 calories. It's more for like focus and a little bit of energy. Uh, that's what it's made for. So you can get that in the link in the description down below. So let's just get into the video. Deadlifts. So we're going to start from the bottom and going up. The first thing we're going to be looking at is the stance. I like to go when you're going to do a conventional deadlift, uh, you're going to be with a shoulder width stance. And I like to point my toes outwards just a little bit. This gives me a little bit more balance when I do put up the weight. The second thing we're going to be looking at is the grip. Now you can either do a mixed grip or a double overhand grip. I like to do a mixed grip since uh, when you're starting to do a little bit more weight, this is easier to balance and it's a little bit more grippy. Uh, so when you're going to uh, lift the weight. The third thing we're going to be looking at is the straight back. Back straight is super, super important. And as you can look at this replay, I am straightening my back and pushing my weight downwards. So my ass is a little bit going to the grass uh, against the weight. And that's the starting position for our deadlift. Now, the third thing we're going to be looking at is when, are, when you are lifting the weight, if you are... A, going against your knees if you're going over your knees that's when you want to trust your hips forward uh, i'm going to be slow slowing down this um next set so you can see so i have straight arms mixed grip lift up when the bar goes over my knees i thrust my hip forward and uh, that's going to activate my back and um, that's the way to do it uh, that's the way i like to do it that's the way you don't have any problems with your lower back or anything like that uh, this is a front view um, one more time we can look at it very slow and controlled and also when you're going down it's very important to go slow don't slam the weight down don't slam the weight on the ground very slow and controlled so that's gonna be it for the deadlift now I'll just go over the rest of this workout uh, the second exercise that we did or I did is a pull up a wide grip pull up with some added weight and this is 12 and a half kilos on my um, you know, I have a 12 and a half kilo nut sack. Um, so uh, I'm not sure how much is it in pounds, almost 30 pounds, I think that is, or 26 or 27 or something, uh, which I was quite happy with. I did uh, four sets of eight uh, repetitions. And um, with this one, it's just pulling through the elbows is the most important uh, to get the most lat activation. Now, this exercise, I did some rows and I wanted to do super dumb heavy. So this is 40 kilos, which is 90 pounds. Uh, dumbbells I use straps because otherwise my grip can handle it but I just wanted to try it out to go a little bit heavier um, next time I'm definitely going a little bit less heavy like 36 kilos probably um, because it was just too uncontrolled for me uh, it wasn't that bad but um, it was kind of uh, a little bit too uncontrolled for my liking but uh, with this exercise it's also um, very very important i see a lot of guys with a very round back and then almost lifting the the, the weight with their biceps they're almost curling it in a way um, but when you focus on pulling through the elbow uh, that's when you get the most lat activation and you're gonna feel it the best way uh, this is gonna be a great exercise if you want to thicken up your lat, uh, your lats by the way so definitely want to do try that out and then i did one exercise for biceps just some cable curls we were pretty or I, I don't know why i keep saying we i got pretty fatigued um i had did have someone help me so that's probably why i say we but i was pretty um fatigued after that deadlift and um pull-ups and obviously they have rows so i just did one exercise for biceps uh which felt good uh very sloppy uh sloppy form if i could say so my my elbows are inching uh, way too much forward uh, I'm not really happy with this, but uh, it is what it is, man. I had a great workout. I had a great pump. 
Um, so yeah, that's gonna be it for this uh, video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Do appreciate you watching and again Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it If you want to see some new stuff, please let me know and I'll talk to you guys very very soon Deuces